Well... Okay, that's scenario 50. Only two to go. That is two to go. So let's see what we have in the factory. Who are you? Wait, Kodai? The fuck? You mean you don't know? Are you the Cosmo Reverse System? Oh wait, I kind of knew that though. Yeah, he is the Cosmo Reverse. Kodai is the Cosmo Reverse System. We only have two opportunities left to do sub orders and upgrade our stuff. So in this case, let's do it. Or rather, what did I say? Why did I say let's do it? Rather, let's just, um... Okay, so now Tessa is a great ace. Alright, so we've got a bit more money now. Let's go ahead and get some more mechs at 100%. So right now, the only ones we have are Vang Ray, Grand Vang. Let's go and decide some of our 100 percenters. Honestly, I think Shin Getter 1 deserves it. I mean, I am a huge Getter fanboy, so of course I want Shin Getter to be the best. And let's upgrade this movement to 8. Yeah, you can pretty much tell here I have a bias towards, um... Yeah, I have a bias towards Super Robots. Like, at this point, you can you can tell. This is just bias towards the Super Robots. And then we can also upgrade another one. I want to try double O Quanta. But I think it makes more sense to honestly fully upgrade Unicorn. Or Might Gain, actually. Yeah, I think I'll go with Might Gain just because of the 80 of the ridiculous 8800 power of double Dorinken. Yeah, you know what? We'll do that instead. Yeah, I will do that instead. He's got like ridiculous power. I do wish I had more money though to upgrade the rest of these mechs. And as far as stack points go, honestly, we'll just use it again on attacker. And then let's see who we can put it on. So Sosuke has it. Anji doesn't have it. Cheetose doesn't have it. Oh no, Cheetose has it. Attacker. Actually, you know what? Let's upgrade Neo Zeong. Can we? Yeah, let's... Why not? Psycho Shard damage by 300, huh? <clears throat> That's fine. 
Might as well use everyone we can. Okay, we'll give him instinct. You know what? I think we can give Banajoy the attacker role. Does Might Guy already have it? Maito, 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 Maito. Do you have attacker already? Oh yeah, you do, you do. You know, the normal route of that scenario of that pass scenario is probably the longest stage in the game. Well, at least we didn't take the normal route then. Glad we didn't take the normal route then. Wait, is Banjo already an attacker? Yeah, Banjo has attacker. Tetsuya has it. Okay, who do we give it to? So, like, who's the best real robot pilot here? So, Jude, giving it to Judao basically means I get, like, much better map attacks. Um, giving it to Kira, nah. I could give it to Tobia, honestly, because he's the one who has, like, really, really cheap, uh, soul or cheap valor. I could, actually. You know what? Yeah, let's give it to Tobia. I think he could use some, he could use extra love. Other than that, there's really not much else to edit here. All right, let's get, let's go to the next. We've only got two to go. I'm very ha. Okay, I'm very excited. We've got two. We've got two to go. Let's get it. Inside the Yamato Automatic Navigation System. Doctor Sado. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There's no more I can do for Miss Mori. That's the same life support capsule we used for Yudisha when she was in a coma. Keeping Miss Mori inside it means we can at least maintain her in her present state. She'll be able to recover when we get to Earth though, right? When she can get treatment at a proper facility? Even in that case, the odds that we can save her are less than 0.1%. But there's still a chance, right? Well, it would take a miracle. Miracles don't just happen like that. Sanada! Miracles are things that you make happen. Sir, let's go to the bridge. There's only another reason. Yes, I know. It's another reason we have to save the three Earths. Oh no, they... Oh no. Mori's not gonna survive. Sorry that took so long. How is Miss Mori? She's fighting for her life right now, just like we, are, we all are in a way. So we have to win. Yes, I know. Susumu? Let's just focus on what we've got in front of us. That's our job as officers of... Uh, members of Earthfleet Tenku. Sanada, please explain the situation. I'll transmit what you have to say to all vessels. Yes, sir. As you can see, the space-time fusion appears to be in its final stage. The dimensional barriers have already been breached and the three Earths are physically approaching each other. But, in part because they're ignoring the Roche limit, it would seem that a kind of dimensional distortion is being created between the three Earths. So is there still time? According to the information from Leonard Testarossa, this situation should persist for a few more months. Given what we've heard from Full Frontal though, people will have reached their mental limits long before then. In other words, we have to act quickly. So if we use the Cosmo Reverse system, that'll save the Earth? Uh, the three Earths? I don't know. Sir? Really, just what is the Cosmo Reverse system anyway? Huh? In their analysis, our engineers have found that it's made up of a complex and recursive concatenated structure, just like the neural network of a human brain. This is little more than a theory, but you could say that the Cosmo Reverse System is something like its own individual life form. You mean it's alive? And you might consider that the wave motion pattern possesses its memory ne is the memory necessary to restore the Earth. But the problem is, whose memory is it? Don't you think it would be the memories of the crew of the Yamato and all the members of Earth Fleet Tenku? I can't think what else it might be. But is that what act what actu what it actually is? So what are you saying? If we use the Cosmo Reverse system, will we be able to save the Earth? That depends on entirely on his, or rather, on the Cosmo Reverse system's memory. Wait, what did you mean when you said his just now? I'm getting a response on the radar! Multiple units approaching! All vessels, prepare for battle! Uh 
All right, second to the last. Darker than the darkest black. Come on, let's get it. Okay, we're definitely gonna go with Shin Dragon and the Danan. It's been a while since I've been able to use the Danan and I finally can. Enemy formation approaching! Eh? It's Mycenae! Impossible! Didn't we wipe them all out in the battle at Feldina? Don't worry about that right now. Everyone just launch. 24 this time. Yeah, we're gonna go with Neo Zeong here. Okay, who did we leave out? We left out... Uh, Evangelion Unit 8, which I'll probably have to change. Well, I'll probably have to take away his, like, stuff. Okay. What is the platinum? Uh, what does the platinum emblem do? Increases number of actions by one. What the freak? I think I know who's getting that. I think you're. I, I think an extra turn is worth everything else. I could give it honestly to Grand Vang, but let's see who needs it more. Yeah, you know what? Let's just give it to Grand Vang. Whatever. Okay, so this one needs more EN. This one needs energy. Okay, we'll give him a jamming device and I guess a... Honestly, a Haro would be great, but also a pink Haro would be nice. Or a superconducted motor would be nice too. Yeah, why not? Anyone else we can put or ra Anyone else I forgot?
Yeah, okay, I think this is fine. So again... Okay, there we go. Yeah, sorry, I had to think about that for a little bit. Okay, actually, Mightgain has really, really good movement, so we're gonna put him in front. Okay, I'm just basing this off of like their movement, so uh, everybody, in he everybody in here has like good movement. All right, let's begin. So, there were still some of you left alive? Bazinger! And all you wretched humans, I refuse to die until you've been defeated. Save it for some other time, would you? We're a little busy trying to save the Earth here. What does the fate of one tiny planet matter to the ruler of an entire galaxy? If, however, I should remain defeated at the hands of you humans from that tiny planet, that would forever be the stain upon the name of Olympus. A sheer force of will! Even if, even if his body is falling apart, seems like his spirit is still strong. Great General of Darkness, if that's what you really want, then we'll be happy to take you on. Huh. You have my gratitude, Tetsuya Tsurugi. Bring it on, Great General of Darkness. We can't afford to lose either. Not at least until we've saved the three Earths. Defeat all the giant Ketoras and also to defeat the Great General of Darkness. But why do you have like why do we have like 24 uh Why do we have 24 Deployment slots. There's gotta be more to this than just, you know, these Kedora. Yeah, there has to be more than the but besides these Kedora. You know what? Actually get in the end. Uh, or no, don't actually get into the ship. It's fine. You're fine. Okay, for once, we're actually going to end the phase. That's fine. There we go. Well, 61,200. Wait, why did it start with less HP? What happened? 
Okay, we'll first use a Getter Beam, and honestly, I think this is fine. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Wayum That hurts. That okay, that really hurts. <laughs> okay, that really hurts. <laughs> Okay, bro actually hurts. Okay, what they say? Defeat all j Okay, so turn two. Basically, if we don't kill all the giant Kedoras and def defeat the great general of darkness here, we don't clear. We don't get the last SR point of the game. And we are gonna get the last SR point of the game. Okay, and to do that, well... We've got some, uh... We've got some things to make it easier for us. Yeah, actually, you know what? Let's go with bravery right now. Let's go with some bravery right now. Okay, you can stand by there. Alright, great. So that takes care of... I guess four now. Yeah, there has to be more to this than just these these guys. I refuse to believe that somehow the Kedoras are... Uh, that these are the only enemies we have. Gonna go to bed. See ya. See ya, Mars Nadesiko fan. Although I do intend to finish this, so this is probably gonna be like the last uh, SRWV thing. But thank you for sticking around for as long as you have with the um, with the playthrough. Did we kill him? Did we get him? We don't get him yet. We do not get him. Oh wait, no. The um the missile the funnel missile does. Okay. That's fine. Damn! 
Okay, double action Cheeto says amazing. I'm not gonna. Uh, I'm gonna rely on the other super robots for uh, for the next few attacks though. Okay, so we can do a Koshi we can do a photonic power beam. And then for um okay, so we can also do a great blaster for Tetsuya. I'm just I'm just gauging what I can what I can use to attack. So Shin Getter change attack is possible to or okay. Alright. Etola Gopin doesn't really appear until like uh all right, then we'll just use we'll just use them. Or let's see, who can we use? Amuro, Banjo, Sosuke, maybe. Or we could just use Rida. Could be a problem. Okay, thank you, Rida. Thank you for getting rid of the rest of the enemies. Alright, it's time to fight the Great General of Darkness. Okay, the spear doesn't work until like 1.30, so we'll just wait for him. Uh, we can do a Shin Getter Change attack. So, Valor it up and persist. How much damage does this deal? Okay, 11k. Good. Just a flesh wound. It's just a flesh wound, Leoma. You'll get it. You, you'll be fine. Skullheart spe- Ooh, the Skullheart special. Okay, cheap valor then. Cheap Valor and Skullheart special? Yes, please. Hmm? 
Damn, only 6,000? He's tanky. He is tanky. Bro is tanky as fuck, man. Actually, thinking about it, I kinda want Gold to kill this. Thinking about it. Okay, let's go with the Great Blaster. Attack me if you dare, Mazinger. The great general of darkness will strike you down. Is this some suicidal attempt at revenge? No, I can't think that as a man such as him would start a battle he had no hope of winning. Since I'm not sure what he's up to, th the thing to do is take him out as fast as possible. Yep, that's what we're gonna do. Damn, six K. He's really tough. I wonder how he's. I wonder how much damage this is gonna deal. Okay, 6k. Alright. Uh, message, message loud and clear, don't fuck with this guy. Only 3,000? God damn! Okay, he is actually a lot tougher than I expected. Okay, he can go for Transam. Okay, the frick? Okay, 5,226. I'll probably get him down. I'll, I'll probably chunk him down to like 4,000 or 3,000 HP. I can't really do the sun attack too, which kind of sucks.
来るか暗黒大将軍Okay, five thousand sixty-five. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> okay, we only need one more guy here to uh, to attack him. Okay, we'll take that pay. Although I probably have to save the game again. Or you know what? We could actually use Joe instead. Yeah, Valor and uh, Persist, I guess. Yep. We'll just go with Joe. <laughs> This isn't a kill, right? Okay, it's not. Alright. Okay, great. Okay, it's time for Mazinger. It's time for Mazinger Z to do the thing. Alright. Koji Kabuto, your soul is mine. This is undeniably one fine attempt at revenge, but don't think you can defeat us with those forces. Let's do this, great general of darkness. I'm going to defeat you and put an end to the Mycenae. But well, I really hope you can. I invested it. Oh, it's M Mike Mikene, huh? Whatever. I probably suck at it, it's fine. And so, hopefully, finish it. Hopefully! And so, hopefully, finishes the Great General of Darkness. Yep! There we go. And now he level- he jumps up to like level 61. It's amazing. And we get our SR point. Let's go! Look at that. We actually got an achievement for uh we actually I got an achievement for 51 SR points. Hell yeah! No! Victory is ours, great general of darkness! It it cannot be! No! I shall use this regret, this anger and suffering. With them I shall open the gates of Hades. Is he serious? Don't you know when you've been beaten, you disgrace yourself as a great general? Oh I admit it. You are all very strong. Strong enough even to defeat me. But now you shall see that there is one whom you not even you can hope to defeat. Uh what now? He's up to something. We have to stop him. Everyone attack at once. These wretched torments of hell give me strength. I, Commander of Olympus, great general of darkness, offer up my life. Stand open now, O gates of Hades. Did he just Oh my god, he sacrificed himself for that. Great General of Darkness. Oh shit. That's not good. What's happening? Why isn't suddenly freezing cold? What is going on here? Yo! Who is that? A flame? In space? No! That is a mass of pure malevolence! Who are you? 
I am the Emperor of Darkness. Once here, I was known as Hades, God of the Underworld. What? So the General just resurrected Hades himself? Ashura was revived with a mechanical body as well. Are you telling me this is the same thing? Oh, Iron Mazin, the great General of Darkness attempted to return me to this life by offering you as a sacrifice. You who once defeated me. And when he couldn't do that, he offered up his own life instead? All his suffering has become my strength, transformed into great flames of hate, throwing open the gates of Hades. Well, shit, he's alive again, along with the other Mycenaeans. Oh, oh, thank you, Lord Hades. Uh, I mean, Emperor of Darkness. My body of steel is revived. Now we can take our revenge on these humans. Great General of Darkness, Gardabla, Ashura. I draw upon your powers along with the empty shells of the heroes of Olympus. Yes, my lord, we understand. We will not fail to bury these enemies before you. Watch it, everyone. That mechanical beast has been greatly enhanced, just like Ashura. So this is another power of the Emperor of Darkness. Damn it, we don't have any time for this. Why did this all have to happen now, right at the worst possible moment? It seems you do not understand. What? Everything about this term of events was prearranged. Behold! Oh, good god, really? Exeb's army! They must have come from the Earth of the AD dimension. Impossible! Does that mean that Exeb is still alive? No. Aito? I sense something far more evil than him. Then who is it? A truly great evil? No, that is not what I am. Who are you? My name is Black Noir. Black Noir? So his entire name means darkness? He's the one who's truly behind everything? Indeed. Though he has always had the power to crush you, he has waited to seize upon the most effective time. What? How is this the most effective time? The Earth about is about to be destroyed. If he is Exub's boss, does, he does that mean he's trying to do the same thing as Embryo and Leonard? Destroy the Earth and then remake it from nothing? Oh, I don't care about what happens afterward. I simply want the Earth be destroyed. I thought it'd be interesting to see things end like that for once. I do not understand. Is this some kind of joke? Such great malice, and for so slight a reason. Truly, this is a being of great evil. Black Noir, just what are you anyway? Well, if you really want to know, I'll tell you. I am a higher dimensional being from another universe. A higher dimensional being? Yes. I am the ruler of this dimension. I suppose you could call me its god. But why? Why are you trying to take over the world? I am not trying to take over anything. I already control it. Embryo was, after all, only playing into the palm of my hand. Yes, this entire world is nothing more than a story I have created. What? God? The ruler of the 80 dimension? You mean that was an embryo? So this is the truth of our world. The truth that Aeoli Shenberg, that celestial being, was seeking. You ask why I was doing this. I'll tell you that too. For the fun of it, obviously. I've been using all of you, playing a game to amuse myself. Embryo made for a pretty interesting clown, but really what I like to see is war. What? The coordinators, the Jovian Federation, the A-Laws, the Meganoids, the Martian successors, the DG Alliance, and irregulars like Gaizok and Embryo. I used all of them to perpetuate different cycles of war and peace. So all of our battles were no more than some game? You're telling me that Yurika went through all that and suffered so much just for this one guy's amusement? And then you broke through the dimensional barrier. As far as I was concerned, that only meant the game got more interesting as the playfield expanded. That can't be! All of you are nothing more than pieces on a game board. And, Maito said Puji, I gave you the most important role. I made you the hero. What? For ages, I tried and tried to get that character right. I sowed countless different seeds just for that purpose. Akito Tenkawa. One of those seeds was the anime Geki Ganjo 3. What? It influenced many people, just like your friend, but ultimately it was a failure. Those with superhuman strength like Banjo Haran never grew into the kind of person I was looking for. Oh? The tragic loss of a family member, the cruelty of war, the act of fighting with one's precious friends, none of them gave birth to the kind of hero I wanted. Oh, oh. Huh? Hmm. You don't say. What I really wanted was someone who believed in justice, an absolutely pure hero without the slightest flaw. 
And you, Maito Senpuji, you are that hero. No! All I did was honor my father's dying wish. Your parents themselves were no more than pawns put in place to raise you to be a hero. And Joe the Ace merely served to act as your rival. Everything was done for the purposes of the game. That can't be true. My whole life I fought against the evil in this world for justice. Yes, along with your friends, you defeated one evil after another, gaining many items and experience. Then you got a hold of the last item, the Cosmo Reverse System, and you probably thought that now all you had to do was wait for the end. But this time, the ending I want is one where all the heroes fail and the Earth is destroyed. Hey, you can't just show up and decide that everything's over. Not for us and not for any of our fights either. That's right. I don't care who you are, I'm going to defeat you with my own two hands. I refuse to just sit back and give you whatever ending you want. Prepare yourself! Be careful everyone, those baptized robots under Black Norse command have ultra healing powers. We'll just- we'll have to focus all our attacks on taking them out or they'll, they'll just recover all their damage. All these efforts of yours are in vain. No mere humans could possibly defeat us transcendent beings. The future that awaits you all is darker than the darkest black. And we will cut through that darkness. That is our battle. Damn. Okay. I think this is probably one of those uh, instances where I could pro where I could wait until um Yeah, this is probably one of those instances where I could just like go straight to the boss. From from what it looks like or from what it seems like, honestly. I think we should all just bunch up our troops together in this one one giant blob. Let them come to us. We've already acquired the SR points anyway. I think it's better that we just let them come to us instead of us uh, spreading ourselves out. I mean, if these guys are willing to, okay, if they're willing to really uh, to approach us like this, then okay, sure. Let's give them what they want. Or do we do we do we skip another turn just to get them closer again, and then we just destroy them all in like one sitting? There we go. Yeah, okay, your focus is down to 90-95 again. Damn, bro has a map attack. Okay, you know what? I think that might be the better option to do. Yeah, you know what? Let's let let's do this. Let's end the turn. I kind of just want to see if... Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll just defend.
Okay, I have no idea why they're coming after, uh, why they're going after some of the people they're going after, but... Nice. Less nice. Okay, I think this might be a better, uh, I think this might be better. Just letting them, uh, just letting them come, come to us. But we'll see. Okay, so now that they're all bunched up together, I think it's time we just finish everything using our strongest attacks, right? Okay. Time for Rudy Hot King. We're gonna pull out all the stops here. Or at least we'll try to pull out all the stops here. Yo, look at how many people I get to hit with this. And also, I don't get to use- wow, I don't get to use the wave motion gun anymore. Jeez, okay. Okay, let's begin. At that, they're all just perfectly placed in here. They're all perfectly placed for a missile pod. Okay, 6k, 9k, 12, 
13, 14, 14. Okay, nice level up. Okay, let's divide. Let's use Demolition Gun. Again, the same thing. Soul. Actually, no. Not even Soul. Valor. Just Valor. ラジャ、操縦は任せください。今だ。ちょっと <laughs> Okay, biosensors for both uh, Camille and Judao, NTD for Banager. Okay, that's great. There we go. Alright, belt levels up. actually use the uh, we can actually use the rain technicolor cannon all right nice Even nicer. Unfortunately, though, with Neo, with if Frontal's like our ally, he doesn't really get his like post move anymore, which kind of sucks. But I mean, what can you do, really?
Okay, well, Koji's gonna do a lot of heavy lifting here. Yeah, he's gonna be doing a lot of heavy lifting for this. Actually, I think he can beat up Garadabla. He probably could. Well, this is gonna this is pretty much gonna rely on Koji, this entire mission. Yeah, this is gonna rely on Koji. Okay, we'll just big bang punch him. Impossible to think I was called a hero. Hey. Okay, I think I as long as I can keep the EXC moving. Yeah, he's got like six EXC. Honestly, I could just big bang punch these guys right now. And then he could still go multi-action. Let's go multi-action again. Okay, you know what? I think everybody should just go get blessed. Yes, finish the story, Koji. Finish the story. Have another big bang punch with the map attack. Yes, Because I want this guy to turn into Mazinger Zero and just destroy everything in one turn. Dude, he's actually carrying this entire game. Well, k 13k, 15k, Athera down. I can't believe this! It's too powerful! And he still has multi-action because of that. Okay, excellent. That's exactly what I wanted here. Wow, you got hit by that? 
God damn, Makito, that was a 12%. You suck. You genuinely suck. Respectfully speaking, how do you get hit by that? Okay, now he gets his Psycho Frame. Honestly, he won't be able to do it. But as long as we can leave, like, uh... I mean, I don't really have... To, I, I don't think I have to kill all of these guys, honestly. It's just that every extra kill I get will just increase my focus to a certain amount. Yeah, I think we can do it. Great General of Darkness, as a man of war, I must admit that I admire your persistence, which is why I'm going to defeat you myself. This time for sure, with both my power and Empress, I will beat you down into hell. Yep. Eternal glory to the Olympus! And he's out. Whoa, look at that. Tetsuya at level 56 now. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. So as long as I'm four tiles, all right. Okay, there we go. Now we can use the Phase Transition Cannon.
長見ててくださいよはい頑張ってハーリー君ハーリー君想定以降発射スタンバイついに名指この秘密兵器の牙を剥く装填員法発射してくださいおわお、やっちゃうね、ゲームで EXC to act to grant another turn to somebody。Well now。That leaves us in a pretty、um, awkward spot. Well, not really awkward. Do we have any Axel here? Nope. Maito is now a great ace. I think I might be playing with fire a little bit because of the map attack. But anyway, ac the accuracy has been halved, so. I think if there's any. I think if, if nothing else. Yeah, I think we probably just have enough time to beat all of these guys. Uh, but, but we'll see. You know what? I think it's time for you to go. Yeah, I think it's about time we throw everything into a、uh, into Great General of Darkness. Okay, eight to seventeen. Good level up. Fourteen K. What's wrong, humans? Is this all that you can manage? Oh, come on! That emperor is a true monster. No, I am a god. No mere human, no mere game piece could ever defeat a transcendent being like me. Urgh. Don't give up, Maito. Sally, prepare to fire the innocent wave. I've been making some improvements to the amplification device just in case. This should be twice as powerful as when it used it against Xev. You, you will be the goddess who leads us to victory. If it means saving Maito, saving everyone, I'll do it. Oh damn! Incredible! That was the most powerful innocent wave I've ever seen. All right, now it's time for our big comeback. Pathetic. Ah, Sally. He deflected the innocent wave. Does it have no effect on him at all? It can't be. We used it to defeat Xeb. If Blackmore is the one who gave him his power, it ought to work on him too. The innocent wave is nothing more than an item to make the game more interesting. What? The power it has to cause a small miracle is utterly meaningless before me. Then is there nothing more we can do? Damn it! 
Really, it is the height of folly to think that you could triumph over a god, over your creator. Oh, are you really so sure about that? Cap captain Ruri! Ruri Hoshino, the Electron Fairy. Your becoming a captain at such a young age was also part of my design. With the unique skills and lovely appearances I've given you, you truly are like a fairy. I'd prefer it if you just called me by my name. I'm really just Ruri Hoshino. While it may be true that I was born to someone else's design, the fact that I am fighting here right now is entirely the product of my own will. Your will? You think a mere pawn could possess such a thing? All of you are simply acting out the roles that I have created for you. It may be- It may be true that you indeed possess all the powers of a god, but that is not what you are. All you're doing is mo no more than mere causality, no more than simple cause and effect. What do you mean? Imagine, for example, that we are like someone's fish inside a water tank. To a fish, whenever food is added to a tank, or more fish suddenly appear, or a natural predator comes out of nowhere, it would seem to be the will of God. Of course, let's ignore for the moment that the question of, the question of whether a fish could have any concept of God at all. So, what are you trying to say? To the fish, this hidden being of great power may be a God, but from outside the tank, those are simple actions. Once the actor is identified, it's clear those actions were truly due to mere cause and effect. Even the fish can see there's no god in that. Black Noir, if you wanted to play god, you fa failed at the very moment you have revealed yourself. That which seems wondrous from afar is often dull up close, and you're perhaps the perfect example of that. I see. So this is all just sour grapes. Let me raise one other point that proves you're not god. A famous scientist once said that god does not play dice. In other words, there is no probability in the laws of nature. The universe can be understood absolutely. But the field of quantum mechanics stands in opposition to this statement. What exactly are you trying to say? The simple fact that you don't already know the answer to that is proof that you're not God. What? This is merely my own speculation, but I believe that you are some sort of extra, extremely advanced societal organization system created by an alien civilization. You do not manipulate fate. You simply set up the situations that will give rise to an arbitrary set of results based on some giant simulation. That sounds familiar. That's right, Setsuna. Celestial beings Veda was probably meant to be an emulation of Black Noir. Aeolia Shenber created a being of the same nature as the great evil that was in control of the 80 dimension and attempted to stand up to it. That's why, after already accomplishing even more remarkable things, you were able to use that power to overcome the war that Black Noir had set up for you. Black Noir, you are nothing more than a system. The idea that God doesn't play dice has been overturned. You're free to call yourself a god if you want to, but the future is still uncertain and you are not absolute. What? You expect me to acknowledge that? Me? A transcendent being? Biological evolution and advancement is boundless. From the moment you became convinced you were all-knowing, omnipotent being, you were doomed to become obsolete. That's something that I learned from a great scientist who dedicated himself to the study of ghetto radiation. You mean old man Saltome, don't you? And the power that celestial beings stored away in order to defeat you is already greater than your own. Your own. That's right! Setsuna, it's time! I am going to reveal the truth of this world. That is what defeating this Black Noir will mean. I will complete the last mission of Celestial Being, fulfilling the final goal of the Innovators. The Psycho Frame is reacting to the GN Particles. Everyone's will is becoming one. This is the result of my studying the Psycho Frame's data that Commander Amuro gave me. Now with the people of two, no, three Earths joining their hearts as one, we can create a new possibility. What is this? Even, even back on planet Feldina, it was when everyone's innocent wave became one that we were able to defeat Exeb. Is a miracle like that going to happen again? Our quantum burst was also greatly improved by adding Psychomo technology to it from the Universal Century Dimension. And Universal Century Psychomo tech was only as advanced as it was because of the black technology from the new Correct Century Dimension. Chidori! So Kaname Sagara's dream did more than simply serve to intensify war! Curse those innovators! They were an aberration! A wretched bunch of irregulars I never planned for. And it wasn't just Celestial Being that triumphed over your expectations. That's right! According to your original plan, the entire Jin family was supposed to be wiped out, wasn't it? But that's not what happened! Not everyone died! Uchita, Keiko, Ichitaro, and I are still alive! After defeating the Meganoids, I was probably supposed to lose my purpose, never to be seen or heard of again. But instead, I'm still right here, with everyone else. Kira and I have gone from enemies out to kill each other to good friends fighting side by side. I moved past Geki Ganger, rose above revenge, and I'm fighting now so I can have a future together with Yurika. Black Noir, it seems that we've grown stronger than you ever intended back when you were caring for us inside our little fish tank. 
A process that was only accelerated when we encountered each other across three different dimensions. No, I refuse to accept that. All the miracles you've ever hoped for, they were never more than the events I set in motion. Then why don't we put that to the test? Let's just find out how, how, how far we humans have come. Get the race. Also known as Dragunium. In other words, the power that awakens mana. That's it. I understand now. Homoka? The miracle at Feldina. That was just the same as mana, wasn't it? That's right. When an innocent wave makes contact with a dimension, it suppresses getter radiation, causing interference in the physical world. Which explains the long-range lambda driver phenomenon. Human thoughts and emotions can overcome space-time itself, and they can manifest themselves as real power. Our hearts and strength combined can bring on a miracle. All of this is meaningless. It doesn't matter how much power you can pull together, it'll never be enough to overcome my aura of evil. I wouldn't be so sure of that if I were you. Black Noir, witness a power that is utterly the opposite of your own darkness. One, two, three. Impossible! My aura of evil, my dimensional interference wave motion, is being scattered to nothing. Is that the sun attack? No, it's something else. This is the power that the Meganoid set aside to fight Black Noir, Don Zauser's final bequest. It is the anti-dimensional interference wave motion light. It is the sun's rays that strip away darkness. This can't be. The Meganoids were never supposed to be more than simple villains. They wanted to move on no matter the cost. Yes, they beat you. Researching Meganoid technology earned me the ire of my peers, but I learned of your existence. Thanks to a certain someone's guidance, I was able to deliver Don Zauser's final bequest, the power to destroy you, to Banjo Halad. But it was only finished in theory. To unleash, to unleash it in practice required the miracle of will. I fulfilled my promise, Koros. The Meganoids are finished, once and for all. So I'm gonna turn my back on the past and move on too. <sighs> Maito, all is now in place. You're the one who should deliver the final blow. What? Show us all what a real hero looks like. Justice never falters. Isn't that right, Maito Senpuji? I, I don't know if I can do it. It's no use. Now that Maito Senpuji doubts himself, as a hero, he might as well be dead. I don't think so, buddy. Maito is always running out ahead of us, in the lead. He's the engine that drives the Brave Express Corps. Maito, stand up! Maito! It's done! The greatest and most powerful innocent wave there could ever be is now charged, with all of earthly Tenku's hearts joined as one. The same thing is happening back on Feldina. It was only for a brief second, but this machine's lambda driver range has expanded greatly. Thanks, Al. Thank, thank you, Sally. You've saved me again. Maito! I do not believe this. His will was on the point of breaking because of the doubts he felt about his own existence. No, this can't happen. Nothing and no one can create miracles except me. If you call this a miracle, then you really aren't a god after all. What? When I hear the sound of the woman I love cheering for me, I will stand up every time. That's what it is to be a hero. Maito! Oh, that's so cool! Now that's what I call a real man! No, 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 no! What's gotten into him? This is the result of Executive Officer Sanada and Captain Yuri's words. Along with everyone's will and the Maito's refusal to give in, he's begun to doubt himself. He truly is only a system. He is not God. I refuse to accept that. I refuse. I refuse. Hmm. I have no business with some broken down machine. It seems that there are none who truly deserve to be called gods beside us, Masters of Olympus. I wouldn't be so sure of that, Imp Emperor of Darkness. Compared to that highly sensitive mass of evil, you're all a bunch of idiots. So we'll just have to beat it into you. Witness firsthand the kind of power we humans have. How dare you! You know, if something we mere humans said could get you so upset, you're not really worthy to call yourself a god, are you? Prepare yourself, Emperor of Darkness. The real battle starts now. Alright, everyone. These are the last enemies who stand in our way. Let's crush them. Roger that. Watch closely now, you villains. This is our true strength. That didn't really do anything, you know. Apart from like, oh, it actually breaks their focus down to 145, 105. Well, for Black Noir, at least.
Okay, Axel, Bullseye, Valor, Spirit. I am so sick and tired of fighting these beings that are convinced they're gods. Let's get this over with already. I don't have any time to waste dealing with you and neither does the rest of the world. Thing. The role I was given was simply to act as Maito Senpuji's rival. That's right. Remember what it was you were truly made for and strike him down. Huh. I bet if he and I were to become war buddies, that'd really get under your skin. What? Prepare yourself, vile puppet master of great evil. I, Joe the Ace, will have my will have revenge for my father and destroy the evil manipulating things from the shadows. Well, I mean Unable to act, or so he says. against the commanders of all evil. No need to hold back, Nine. Do you not feel any anxiety about fighting these beings that are beyond human understanding? Well, yeah, that is scary. But I absolutely refuse to lose a scum like them. I understand, sis. I feel the same way. Let's do this, Nine. We're going to take them down ourselves and make this a happy ending. I wonder how much damage that deals. I'm a bit concerned though because well we've got uh, I think they've got a map attack which could probably which could potentially hurt a lot. So let's just go with the final breast nova. Is this the will of Zeus? Has the power of light overcome fate and brought forth the greatest of all evils upon this world? Zero is no longer destruction incarnate. It is a great god of light who fights at my side. Emperor of darkness, no matter how deep and black your darkness is, the light that Mazinger and I ca cast will shine through it. Now, I'll show you the power of the greatest god of them all, in the fusion of man and machine.
Wow, he would have actually gotten hit there. Damn. Okay, Amodos is leveling up at this point. And he's just dodging everything. Yep. Okay, I might this could be concerning. Okay, that's a concern. That's a restart. It's a good thing I did finish it, uh, or it's a good thing that I did end up um, finishing it here. So I guess we're just gonna have to like spirit in. Flicker. Iron Wall. Jimmy Uso came back to the WWE. Yeah, I guess everybody in front here would probably need that, no? Persist. Jimmy Uso came back to the WWE. Really now? Good for him. So what happened? Okay, we already have Iron Wall, uh, Intuition. Oh wait, he can't? Ah, crud. Okay, here we go. Alright, Lauti levels up to 52. And Mazinger is pretty powerful again. Okay. Don't be drawn into their endless darkness. We're all still alive. They don't even understand the value of life. We can't lose to them. The universe depends on it. Nice. Unfortunately, we also have uh, we also have dodge, so you can't really hit us. Oh, Electron Fairy, why do you not seek to fulfill the role I have determined for you? Because I'm human. And because she's the captain of the Nadesiko, 
That's why Ruri fights, to defeat evil scum like you. Thank you for helping me with that explanation. Now then, I think it's time we put an end to this pathetic system that has such a high opinion of its own abilities. Hey. All right. Okay, we've survived. Also, hey there, Star Scout. Welcome in, welcome in. All right. After this, it's only one more scenario. You self-absorbed freaks playing gods, if bolts are enough to bring you down, you're no different from any common soldier. I hope you're ready, because this ordinary soldier is going to defeat you both and shame you before all of space. The more I see of you, the more you seem utterly evil. You are the true enemies of this world. Let's go! We're going to dispel every last bit of your darkness and save all three Earths! 12k... I think we only need like one more attack. Yeah, I think we only need one more attack from somebody. Probably Ride. Never mind. 1587. Yeah, he doesn't have the he doesn't have the stones for it, sadly. Why do you not tremble in fear? Why do you not regard me with terror? Because I know if I give up, that'll be the end of everything. That is why I fight, so I can save the world where we all live. I wonder what I can do first. Those colors you bear are the symbols of the darkness inside your heart. Go on, let yourself burn with hate. No, this is just effective camouflage for outer space. But it's more than that. What a cliched way you have of thinking, ruler of evil. In the end, you're nothing but a broken system. Prepare yourself, Black Noir. Since Guy's not around anymore, I'll take revenge on you instead of dirtying Geki Ganger with your touch. You're gonna pay for making Yudika suffer.
I love that everybody just has shit to talk. I love it. Oh, so that's what she sounds like. That's a she, okay. Well, whatever, it's fine. Yeah, I think I can de I, I think we can stop it, like attacking the mooks here. But also I honestly think it might be worth crunching one of these. Okay, he can probably grant us like an extra Tessa he can probably grant us an extra action. If Tessa can grant us extra actions if we need to. Right, Tetsuya now has Tetsuya has now leveled up. Okay, we won't really do anything to the Great General of Darkness, so we might as well just uh, or rather we won't really do anything to Hades, to that Hades guy. So we might as well just go with this. We might as well just go for the um, other mini bosses. Okay, Tetsuya now has great ace, and so we shall now go with soul and intuition. 
Okay, 21 to 15. I believe this is enough. For, I, I believe this is enough to just chunk him down to like really low HP. Lord of the Mycenae, Emperor of Darkness, I am going to defeat you and put an end to this battle. Such impudence for a mere human like you to address the god of Olympus like me! So, you still consider yourself a god? In that case, I'll just have to show you something. The power of the greatest Mazin of them all, a fusion of man and machine, the great Mazin Emperor. This is so good. This is so thrilling. I hope this isn't the kill, actually. Alright, so he's down to 10,533. Yeah, this is very doable. Alright, it's time for bravery. Okay, it's time for Koji to finally finish his story. What's up? Hey Taru, welcome in. Hello, hello. We are going to be beating Super Robot Wars B because this is the second to the last chapter and we're just about to finish it. Anyway, hello. I just woke up and I'm struggling to adjust my body clock for night shift. Good luck with that! And so, we have destroyed the Emperor of Darkness. Hell yes! Damn, now he's level 68! Curse you, humans! Curse you, Mazinger! But no, I am not to be destroyed! I am determined to overcome fate and be revived into this world once again! You just don't know when to give up, do you? But it doesn't matter. You can come back as many times as you want. We'll always be there to beat you down again. No! Bro, look at that! What's this? Oh, hold on. Hey, hello there, Im. Thank you. Thank you for the raid and wel welcome, everybody. It's your boy, Bacon Elemental, Crispy Bacon VTuber. A very, very tired adult who likes to play games to de stress and. It's been 9 hours, we're trying to finish this good old combination of Fire Emblem and uh, Japanese weeb stuff. Japanese mecha weeb thing called uh, Super Robot Wars B. Hello there, thank you for touching the bacon, E-Doc. Hello, Burb. Thank you for joining Imp's Raid. And hello to you, Imp. How are you? How was stream? Welcome, welcome, everyone.
Let me go give you guys a shout out. Hold on. Lots of fun. What would you play? Oh, Cyberpunk. Hello, hello. A lot of yapping. Well, great, because you're going to hear more yapping and probably me and, and terrible voice acting. We're here. And the Emperor of Darkness is going to go get destroyed and stuff. It, it's no good. There seems no way for me to triumph. If this is what awaits me at the end of fate, I'll never win. Time to go back to sleep already, Emperor of Darkness. And he's out. That takes care of all the mice, eh, then? The Emperor turned pretty cowardly at the end there. He must have realized he was at the limit of his power. And ultimately, we won. Yeah, we won. If he who called himself a god was defeated and I am not a god, that can only mean one thing. That's right, you're going down. Bring it on, Black Noir. We're not gonna let this but let all of this end like you planned. So yep, welcome to the penultimate chapter of Super Robot Wars V. Uh basically it's a mishmash of all anime series combined into one turn-based strategy game, and it's pretty darn hype. It's kinda easy, but it's pretty it, it is here for the hype, really. Welcome in, welcome in, everybody. Hey, if you guys, if you guys like me to um, do any post stream care, totally fine. Totally fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, you know, your rest is important. Rest is important for you guys. Um, and either way, if you guys are staying around for a bit, I hope you enjoy all of the weird and the wacky. Unbelievable! Mere humans overcame my aura of evil. Since you're just a broken system, it's probably beyond your understanding. There is no limit to humans' growth. Someday we'll do will no doubt even have, have even conquered space. As if we could ever lose to someone like you, playing around like this is all your miniature garden. Who are you? My name is Ryoma Nagare, and I am the man who's going to shatter everything and continue on to the future with Getter. Yeah, I got a dip in sleep. Almost 4 a.m. here. No problem, dude. Have a great stream. Thank you. Thank you so much for the raid. Um, and to, again, to everybody else, if you guys need to go to sleep as well, please do. It's fine. We are going to be here for only a short while, though. Probably like another hour or two. I will never tire of this. Time? God, I will never ever tire of this. Alright, 16k. Yeah, we've got more than enough troops to... We've got more than enough forces to defeat this. And honestly, Lottie's 4C is really amazing. Not smash hit. Tactical charge for the Yamato. All hands, stand firm. The future of three dimensions still depends on us after this battle. Yuki's fighting to stay alive too. We cannot afford to lose. But still, thank you, thank you again for raiding. Thank you, thank you everybody for dropping by and hanging out. Thank you so much. Appreciate all of you. It's just that again, it's been nine hours. My mental faculties aren't always where they are, and I kind of have to like double focus on game, but still, it's all good. Love you guys. That is absolute cinema. Yep, it's honestly that, really. It's cinematic. And if there's anything that the Super Robot Wars games are really good at, it's creating this absolute cinema. Yes. 
私は高次元生命体お前たちとは違うの Yeah, yeah, of course you are. Okay, how many more? Da Don't ask. Community vote. I was screaming in turn. I wasn't even going to acknowledge it until you said it. I wasn't even going to acknowledge it until you said it, so that's kind of on you, though. The other game mode was okay though, the TFT one. Yeah. I think my friend who used to play a lot of League plays more TFT now, but even he got uh even he got tired of it. One on first try on the PH server. I mean it's still kinda disgusting, but you know, it's not on the level of like actual league. Like why would you subject yourself to the torture that is League of Legends anyway? Why would you do this to yourself? Also check this out. Chat. It is the most resilient shirt pocket. Hey, <laughs> Because my community wanted me to suffer this fucked over. I would like to see. I mean, look. If it's the, if it's other people suffering in league, I'm happy. If it's me that's suffering in league, I hate it. But if it's anyone else, I'm happy. Okay, so who takes the next? Uh, who takes this next hit? I think you know what. Let's have Joe do it. Let's have Joe do it. I think it's I think it's only appropriate that Joe does it, and also double drive wheel sword to fi double drive wheel sword to finalize or to cap it off. Again, foresee this. All right, we are within range of destroying the Black Noir. We are in the range of destroying Black Noir. It is time. Maito Senpuji, your entire existence was all my doing. I don't care what you say anymore. With the support of those around me and the justice is burned inside of my heart, I will cast off all your darkness. Black Noir, I am going to show you how great the power of a living human being can be. I am going to show you what the power of justice can do. I kind of forgot to give him extra XP, but it's fine. Or like double XP gain, whatever. We're nearing the finale anyway. すべての
And we've done it! We've done it. That is scenario 51, I think. Well, there's still more discussion to be had, of course. Damn, I could have really been gone to like 61 or 65. Jeez. Okay, it's fine. All good, though. Impossible! How can I lose? This can't be happening. This simply can't be happening. W was I no more than a pawn in some game myself? If you really still don't get it, then you're not so much of a god as you are some piece of trash. You lost for one reason, and it's very simple. It's because you're evil, Black Noir. <laughs> And we've done it! Black Noir, regardless of what you really are or who I really am, there's one truth out there that never changes. Justice always triumphs. Maito! Eradication of the Mycenae and Black Noir confirmed. Now there's no one left to stop us. So there's only one thing that remains for us to do. It's finally, it's finally time to use the Cosmo Reverse system. Tactical Officer Kodai, incoming transmission from Dr. Sada to you! What? Uh oh. Oh shit. I like the fact that that line is so cheesy. Yeah, again. What can you do with 90s anime, right? That's nine. That's from the 90s. Oh no, is Mori dead? No, it can't be. Just before she died, she seemed to have miraculously woken up. It must have been because her consciousness connected with yours in the innocent wave. The last thing she did was call out your name. I heard her. It's true. She said that she wanted to see you. Yuki. Let's go, Harada. But we should leave them alone. You're right. Yuki. When we first came on board the Yamato, we thought about things so differently. We fought all the time. I remember it being some point during all that when you told me how you lost your memories. Seeing you live your life with such optimism and hope in spite of what happened, well, it drew me to you, little by little, without my even realizing it. When you were kidnapped, and then when we met again, that's when I realized my true feelings for you. I love you! More than anyone else in the world! Without you, what's the point of there even being on Earth at all? Really, what's the point? Susumu. This is about all I can do for you. You can have your ship back now, Okita. So, it's finally time to use the Cosmo Reverse system. Yes, I suppose. What's wrong, Officer Sanada? You're not thinking we shouldn't use it, are you? There's something I should tell you before we do. What is it? I said before that the Cosmo Reverse system was something like its own individual life form. It's more than that, though. It's Mamoru Kodai. What? Now that the Yamato itself is essentially the CRS, you could say that Mamoru Kodai is now the Yamato itself. Uh, hold on just a second, boss! When you say Mamoru Kodai, you mean Tactical Officer Kodai's older brother, don't you? But isn't Mamoru Kodai supposed to have died in the Skandar? You're saying that Mamoru is the heart of the CRS? Considering it logically, that's the only conclusion. And this guy was a soldier, right? Yes. Then I saw his ghost earlier in the Yamato. I did too, actually. That's not all. Back when he used that quantum burst, sets in the cell he felt a presence like that as well. You may laugh at me for being so unscientific, but I saw him too. It was definitely Mamoru. Reminds me of that saying that any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. How can you say that, boss? We just finished beating an evil emperor brought back the life of out of hell in an alien system claiming to be God. And we're already familiar with a being that's crossed over the line between man and machine. After all that, I can easily believe that Mamoru's soul is somehow on board the Yamato. I suppose you're right. Most likely, after Mamoru died on Iskandar, his memories were preserved somehow. Uh, guys, the Cosmo Reverse System is activating. W wait, what? Are you kidding me? It, it can't be. The system's activated itself? Uh-oh, it did. This can't be happening. Why? This is not good. The Yamato's rapidly losing power! We have to maintain this situation. Do not let the Cosmo Reverse System come to a halt. It's no use! All access from this point is being rejected! Why? Why are you doing this, Mamoru? 
Why have you activated the system? Honestly, you guys should go watch that segment of Yamato 2199. That that's my that's like it's a lot more dramatic than what I can give. And honestly, I don't even want to spoil that the anime part of it. So anyway, that was scenario 51. And so we only have one chapter left. 